Previously on Nights in Ultraviolet. Wow. I remembered there was that great wine store near here, and I thought I'd stop and get some. He's just so focused on the case that he just ignores everything else around him. I am in the process of developing a screenplay. You're an author, you're not a screenwriter. It's a long story, but just don't tell Evelyn about it, all right? Evelyn, I don't say anything about anything to Evelyn. Straight cat, what? You watch the cat when you get back from Algeria? Well, my screen, my screenplay, did you read it? Oh, yeah, I did, I read it. Well, Phil, come on, what'd you think? Oh, I liked it. You liked it? Phil, please. All right, honestly, I really liked it. It was a little erratic here and there, and some of the parts were just fucking bizarre, but I dug it, Doug, I dug it. Do you think it has potential? I mean, I figured you might have a good idea because a lot of your books were turned into movies. You know, like Kestrel's Peak, and Cordillera. Cordillera was a TV miniseries, so we shouldn't count that. No, you can totally count that. It was on TV. It's not like it was a web series or something. What about Evelyn? What'd she think of this? She thinks I should be working on a new book. She says I'm not a screenwriter, but... So I was kind of hoping if you were into it, that maybe mm. you would shop it to the studios for me instead. Shooing the corporate mother teat while your lips are still moist. My young cub, it seems your testicles are finally descending. Oh. Doug, look, I like your screenplay, but I love this going rogue plan. Agents are like parasitic remoras living off of great white sharks. Who needs them? Don't remoras eat the bacteria off sharks so they don't get diseases? Who am I, Peter Benchley? To us, hungry bastards of the murky deep. So you'll pass my screenplay along? Yeah, but it is really fucking bizarre. <laughs> I'm freaking out. You don't say. I can't stop eating. I think I have a tapeworm. Did you eat any undercooked jar raw food recently? No. I had a nightmare. You think it means something? I think it means you ate too much bad food before you went to sleep last night. You know, high levels of MSG can cause nightmares. MSG? Doug, were you listening to my story? I didn't go to a Bruce Springsteen concert. I can't stop eating. I think I have a tapeworm. I ate two quarts of pork lo mein last night before I went to sleep. That's like a gallon of noodles. Half gallon. Ah, I can't stop eating. You want a pizza? Loss of appetite is a symptom of a tapeworm. You definitely do not have a loss of appetite. Hello? Yeah, I want to order a pizza. A parasite will anchor itself in the digestive tract of a host, exploiting the host for food, habitat, and reproduction. That's exactly what I was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big one. Fucking symbiosis. I never even ate any bacteria off of her. <laughs> I'm a parasite. I am the tapeworm on Violet's heart. Yes, extra cheese. What time is it in Algeria? Bonjour. Dan? This is Dan Harrell speaking.
speaking. Who is this? Sorry, the uh, name didn't come up on the phone. She deleted my number. It's Doug. Hey, Doug. How are you? I'm doing well, Dan. Why are you answering Violet's phone? Is that Dan Harrow's? Ask him about my tapeworm. He'll know what to do. She's in the shower. Um, do you want me to take a message, or do you want to wait until she gets out of the shower? Why are you in the same hotel room? It's funny, uh, they screwed up the reservation, they put us in the same hotel room. What are you gonna do? Does that happen often? Actually, now that you mention it, uh, yeah, it does happen pretty often. So, did you wanna leave a message for Violet? Hey, Doug just called. Uh, I think he lost connection, but um, did you want to call him back? No. It's like 3 a.m. in Brooklyn. He's probably just drunk and rambling. Uh, of course. Why wouldn't she run into the arms of damn fucking Harrows? Did you ask him about my tapeworm? That was fast. happening and having no idea why. It's life, man. No, it's not. Life is cause and effect. There's a reason, a purpose, a design. We're just not seeing the big picture. All right, those two, they're a part of this. I can feel it. The pizza people. No, they're more than that. They're, they know something. We gotta find them. Okay. What, free pizza? 